24. Hope you, are, you guys are having a nice quarantine, wherever you are. And uh, just please let me know that everything's fine regarding audio and video, that you can hear me properly. And then we are ready to start playing some chess. I see some users already, like Cobra, Dutch Defender. Ige du de Height, Gorrion, from Spain too. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. I hear some sound here. I should stop that. Everything's fine now. And uh, I think we're ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start. Uh, three minute games, uh, preferably, because uh, we can play uh, more people, right? Pepe, is this also in YouTube? Yes, Paulo. Is, uh, this is in our English uh, YouTube channel, okay? So we have like uh, English channel, Spanish channel, uh, where I mostly work, and also uh, Dutch, uh, Dutch channel. Um, German channel, sorry, and uh, also Russian. Too many languages uh, nowadays uh, in Chess24, right? This is good. So, okay, let's take, for example, Dandivar. And, uh, yeah, I think you guys are following closely the Bantablitz Cup, right? You guys saw the semifinals, Magnus Carlsen against uh, Sugirov. Uh... That was amazing, right? You guys saw this combination in the eighth game where Magnus played queen h4 and then rook takes uh, e5 followed by queen g3. That was pretty insane, man. Okay, so let's try to go for the Maroxys system here. And uh, so c takes d4, knight takes d4. And if black plays knight f6, we'll continue with, uh, with e4. Okay, so it goes knight c6, and now we have uh, different possibilities. I think d5 is the most natural, right? Just uh, gaining some space in the center. And then he's got to decide where, where to put this knight. Probably on d4 looks uh, interesting, but then this uh, knight can run out of squares. For example, I could play something like knight d2. Uh, looks natural. Also, yeah, knight d2 looks good. Let's go for this, because now I want to continue with e3, forcing this knight to go to f5. And then this knight could be in trouble. For example, if black plays d6, then we could be attacking this knight uh, at some point with some g4. And then he will have to go back to h4, h6 at some point. Let's see. All right, so he plays e5. Nice move. Uh, well, let's continue with e3. And only move now is knight f5. And now we have to continue developing our pieces. Uh, for example, with the move g3, which looks very natural to me. So uh, my idea is to continue with bishop g2, right? And uh, then share castle. And at some point, we can break with b4 in these kind of positions, trying to create some counter play on the, kings, on the queen side. Sorry. And then he goes all in with this move, h5, intended to go uh, h4 in the next move. So let's stop that by playing h4 ourselves and uh, knight f6. And here we have a problem with this uh, knight on f5, because we cannot play e4, actually, because knight d4 is coming. So let's try to play knight f3 in order to go knight g5. This is one of the drawbacks of playing h5 uh, pretty soon, right? And uh, yeah, so this square is pretty tasty. So we're going there with this knight, and then probably short castle is, is going to be our, our main idea here. And uh, later, we, we want to continue with a3, b4, uh, probably. I think the position is pretty balanced, uh, so pretty interesting to play. Dandivar from, from Germany. Hello, my name is Pepe. Ich komme aus Spanien. Ich hab, uh, ich hab uh, drei und e4. Okay, so let's go knight g5. This looks good, and now this pawn is going to suffer uh, a lot, right? So knight h7, this is probably already a mistake. Let's take this guy here, followed by knight takes e4. And uh, this is just a healthy pawn up for us, right? Pepe, when is the second semi-final? Unai is asking. Well, the second semi-final is the 10th. So this means the day after tomorrow, right? And uh, Alireza Firuja is uh, facing Narajanan, the uh, Indian player. You guys uh, know that he suffered uh, a power a power cut in his quarterfinals against uh, uh, the guy uh, Iturizaga from Venezuela, one of my best friends. So bishop e5 here. And again, this square is pretty interesting. So knight g5 check. And then we can continue even with, uh, I don't know, probably queen c2 in this position or even the rook b1 looks good. Because he never play, he can never play f6, actually, because this bishop is going to be trapped over there on e5, right? Um, yeah. 
Okay, mm, Pepe, do you like sushi? No, it's actually something that I really hate. Actually, sushi. And, uh, you know, once I went to a sushi restaurant, then I ended up uh, ordering some some <laughs> some pork with uh, fries, yeah? So, <laughs> Night 86, this doesn't look like a good move because now we can play E4, and then this knight is actually out of play. So he goes for F5, again, extremely risky move, but probably he has to go for it. Probably he has to go for something like that. Now we have an uh, interesting idea with f4, but I'm not convinced about this. He wants to play f4 here in this position. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's just take this guy on, on f5 and now keep playing with... Uh, oh, bishop, bishop f5, so just bishop e4. So my rook on b1 was under attack. So begging for games has the opposite uh, effect, ironically. Zealand, Zealand is Zen. Probably that's right. Now he can't take on e4 because there's knight e6 and then we just win the game on the spot because the queen on d8 is just hanging. So knight g4 is played and here let's just play some random move, for example b3 in order to go bishop b2, just remove this active piece, which is also a, a good defender in this position. So just bishop b2, bishop takes, rook takes, and again Rook e2, for example, and this position looks very, very good for us. Just bishop f5, followed by knight e6, and then this is a queen for free. Give me that, baby. I'm going to take it. Now, queen takes e4, and then he's got to resign. Pepe, are you doing commentary on the match between Viruza and Narayana? Yes, I will be doing Spanish commentary, of course. And then probably Jan will be doing uh, English, uh, sorry, German commentary. And uh, probably Laurent Fresinet is doing uh, French French commentary in in this game, in this match. Sorry. So let's uh, let's play C4 here, the English opening, one of my favorites against Caballo, Caballo Rengo from from Argentina, one of my favorite countries. So let's play Knight F3, attacking E5, and after Knight C6, and oh whoa oh, oh, whoa oh. whoa. This is not a good move, my friend, because now this pawn just falls. The pawn on e5. Normally, these kind of moves are just terrible, right? You have to play in the center. In chess, as in salsa, for example, you have to control the center, yeah? So d4 now, uh, putting, per, mut, sorry, <laughs> putting more pawns in the center. And here, I don't know, just too many good moves here for us. Let's just pin this knight on f6 which looks good. After d6, we just simply can play knight f3 or even knight g4. So let's just keep this pin uh, with bishop h4. And uh, no offense, but can you tell the right way to pronounce your name? Of course, my friend Prince. Yes, my, my name is very easy to pronounce. Actually, Spanish is quite easy to pronounce. If you compare it, for example, to, to, to German, for example, or to, to Polish, to Russian, my name is very simple. It's just Pepe, uh, Pepe Cuenca Jimenez, right? So as you can see, it's, it's pretty clear, right? So let's just play Bishop E2 and then Short Castle. And uh, G5, whoa, too risky, my friends. Well, let's just go back. I mean, I could think about sacrificing on G5, but there's no need, right? So we're just simply a pawn up here. And uh, I think he doesn't want to take actually on G3. Because at h takes g3, this uh, file gets opened, and he can end up in real, real trouble. So probably now, just h takes g3, and uh, white is actually much, much better. He has to protect this pawn on h6, maybe king g7, trying to survive in this position. But I'm going to go long castle, and then try to attack like a beast. Like a beast in this position. Let's go for long castle. Uh, I thought it was pronounced ratatata. <laughs> That's all, that also works, yeah? <laughs> but actually, my real name is Jose Fernando. Jose Fernando. Pepe is like a nickname. In Spain, you can call uh, all the all the Joses, uh, you can call them Pepes. And it's like Giuseppe in Italian and Pepe. Same applies for Francisco. You can call in Spain, uh, to, all Francisco, to all Franciscos, you can call them Paco. Paco. So Pepe and Paco. Actually, my, my brother is called Paco, yeah? <laughs> so uh, simple family. <laughs> Uh, queen g6, that runs into queen takes and then just uh, knight c7, and given this fork. And um, yeah, mm, we're winning this game already. 
Uh, bishop f5. I'm gonna take this rook. So this rook is gonna end up on the a s a a square. Sorry, which is uh, a passive square. And now you know when we are material lab, just try to trade every single thing, and then you will minimize uh, uh, the troubles. Yep. So bishop takes, uh, pawn takes, and I don't know. Just too many good moves now. Uh, pick the challenges in order, please. You know, I will take the challenges uh, mostly randomly. So rook e8, and now I'm going to play a3 in order to go b4, for example. And uh, yeah, it's got only one minute. So what are you guys doing in these days? I don't know. Uh, the problem for me is that we are streaming a lot, right? These days, uh, it's a good time for, 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 chess, for online chess, actually. And um, yeah, because everybody is locked up in their houses and then the chess is the best thing to do, right? But, you know, the problem for me is I, I don't know anymore uh, what to tell you guys, you know, because every day is the same, man. Every day is the same, right? So it's too boring. Uh, but all right, we are having fun here in Chess24 at least. So let's take uh, something, uh, someone, sorry, with a higher rating. So 2358 from the Philippines. Um, hey, Paco, make me a taco. <laughs> Wait, that that's not Spain, yeah. Tacos, man, it's so delicious. Yeah, you, you gotta go to Mexico and try their food. It's just so amazing. And um, people in Mexico are extremely friendly. And you can go to the bars and enjoy some tacos, some tequila. It's a lot of fun, Mexico. One of my favorite countries for sure. And then they have uh, nice tournaments. If you guys want to play, for example, the Carlos Torre Memorial in Merida, it's one of the most beautiful cities in Mexico, one of the safest uh, cities in Mexico, and it's just uh, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, normally it's, uh, it's played in the in December, but as you guys know it's tough to make plans now, right? So knight c6, and uh, let's take with the uh, the bishop. Now, actually, taking with the knight is very very interesting. Actually, uh, Stockfish says that this is uh, maybe even better just to take with the knight. But this variation, this is the one that I used to play when I was a little kid. So let's keep playing this. So now knight f6. Black's plan is just to go short castle and then bishop d6 fighting for uh, the e5 square. And then sometimes with, where, when white goes long castle, we have some attacking chances with moves like queen e8, queen h5, knight h5, knight f4, something like that. And uh, yeah, let's see what he plays. You make the rules, man. <laughs> so we have here our moderator, Silanzen. We have also moderator in Spanish channel, our friend Agustin. Oh, he goes for short castle. And now this is where I was telling you guys that I could think about going queen e8 and queen h5. Or even knight h5 looks interesting, but the problem with knight h5 is actually mm, that bishop h7 maybe uh, is just working, yeah? So, 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 let's just play, ooh, maybe maybe first a6 to, to stop knight d5, because after queen e8, knight d5 was interesting. Maybe it was nothing, but all right, let's just parry that threat. And then we can play, as I told you, solid with bishop d6, or more aggressively with queen e8, queen h5, or even knight h5. Hi, Magnusiano. You play well, brother. Are you a GM? Yes, I'm a GM, but one of the bad ones, yeah? So, just 2,500 player. Just a random GM, yeah? Before me, you guys had Nils Grandelius, number one of Sweden. A really cool guy and a really strong player. And also the beast, Adivan, from India. They are so strong, man. They are so strong. And... Um... All right. Oh, it's eight o'clock, uh, as Dario is saying in the YouTube chat. Now in Spain, it's uh, where we actually uh, go out to our balconies uh, to for an applause to uh, the people working in the healthcare system, right? So let's go queen e8 and uh, knight e5. Wow, that's interesting. And here, yeah, maybe queen e8 was not the best idea. I don't know, man. Should I go knight d4 here, for example? Looks interesting, at least. Let's go knight d4 and make him think for a while. Queen d2, and probably I have nothing here, so. But I have some interesting knight h5 now, but bishop e3 looks good. Not so sure about anything here. 
Actually, maybe I'll just go back with the knight to c6. Definitely, this was a terrible <laughs> sequence of moves, but still, the position is playable, yeah? So now I want to go queen h5, probably. Just bringing the queen to the action. And my next move is going to be knight e5, followed by knight g4. And then we have too many threats. So bishop g3. And here, uh, probably, it's interesting just to take on e5. As I was telling you guys, rook e5, just queen f7, nothing happens. And, uh, yes... And now, probably knight g4 is a threat. I think it's a threat or not. Maybe just rook e2, nothing happens. So let's just develop pieces with bishop d7, followed by rook e8, protecting our main weakness, which is uh, this pawn on e6. So let's go back there. And now, bishop e5 back. Probably knight g4 now looks good. Attacking uh, f2, attacking h2. Also preparing some e5 ideas. Maybe e5 is already working. This should be definitely a mistake because now we're enjoying the bishop pair for nothing. So this is just too good for black, yeah? So let's go bishop d6. And now e5 is coming. There are no tricks related with knight takes d5. So I think this is just uh, very, very good for black now. e4 is a threat, just winning the piece. Oh my god! I just blundered knight d5 because there's bishop h7. There's bishop h7, so we gotta be really, really careful now because we are just upon up, upon down. Sorry, bishop h3 works or not? Probably not. Just bishop e6, and then let's just uh, try to flag him. <laughs> King h8, so no more tricks, no more tricks. Now I'm threatening actually to take on d5, so he's got to protect that. Let's just play bishop c5, trying to put a bishop on d4, which is a really nice square. The bishop lands there already, and now b5 could be an idea. Just uh, trying to uh, make this knight on d5 unstable with this move b5. And then probably we are already in good shape. So knight e3. Now just collect this guy here. c3 is coming. Bishop c4 in many positions. So let's go for c3 followed by bishop c4. Boom. And uh, we're winning an exchange and probably the game with this continuation. With this continuation. Thanks for the game, my friend Glaucus. Glaucus. And now, for example, against Marcus the Boss. Marcus the Boss. Wow, Agustin, our moderator, is just amazing. He's moderating two streams at the same time. Because Paco Vallejo, our number one from Spain, is also streaming in Spanish. You guys are more than welcome to visit our Spanish channel. We have a lot of fun, you know? We get crazy sometimes, but uh, there's a lot of fun in our in our channel going on. You guys are more than welcome to subscribe and then to join our events. Let's play knight c3 here. Probably is going for the Leningrado. Leningrad, probably in English. Bishop g2, short castle. Uh, let's see. So it goes d6. Let's just play d5 here. I don't know if uh, this should be more than playable, right? C takes d5. And now, for example, knight d4. e6 is a tasty square, but probably it's also coming to, uh, to e4. Let's play bishop e3 here, just developing pieces, and knight e4. All right, my friend. All right, my friend. I'll take this. Nothing happens. And uh, yes, let's play queen c2 here, just attacking this knight on e4. Let's see where he goes. And now I'm just trying to occupy mm, the c file. He gave me a pawn for free. And you guys know I just love pawns for free. So I'm just going to grab this guy here. And after rook c8, just queen d3, for example. And as I told you, this is just a pawn for free. And then we also have the e6 square for this knight, which is jumping there just to collect some nice food. Um, Pepe, I've just knocked lettuce in test instead of broccoli. Is it okay? Of course. You guys know I, I hate broccoli. I don't know. I don't understand people. I don't trust people who take broccoli instead of lettuce, you know. Bishop e5. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you going? I could just go f4 for example f4 looks very good but also rook c1 yeah rook c1 occupying this uh, c file bishop a3 probably i just uh omitted this can i play knight a6 i could but just rook d1 looks healthy too just gonna be careful with some bishop f5 tricks but at the moment it uh, doesn't seem uh, dangerous at all Pepe, play the italian gambit i can play wherever you guys want why not Rook c8, all right, let's just play b3. So this is a calm move and humble move just uh, to be able to play this, uh, to move this knight and uh, not just, not blunder the b2 pawn. Queen a5, now position is not that easy anymore. I have some queen h4 ideas here, which are 
very very nice let's go for this queen h4 and then we're attacking the h3 bishop and also the e7 pawn is just hanging so that's why there's a double attack now going on and then probably he's losing a second pawn because the a2 pawn is not that important if e7 falls probably everything's falling right pepe could Carlsen win the Bantablitz Cup? Uh, the Bantablitz Cup, sorry. Uh, of course, he's the main favorite. Can I just take this guy here in f5? I think I can. Yes, knight takes f5. Now he has no more the bishop pair. And g takes f5. This looks so bad for him. So I'm just going to take this guy. And then queen e7, uh, threatening queen e6, just winning the, the rook, the whole rook on c8. So that's why he's got to go there. And then I have so many ideas. For example, this looks really, really tasty. Bishop h6, which threatens queen f8 uh, with a checkmate. And um, yeah. I asked for lettuce and was given spinach. Life is unfair. Yeah, I don't understand, man. I don't understand what people are thinking about. Where you ask, you know, for a healthy and tasty uh, salad, you know. And then they give you like some some shitty broccoli or I don't know or, or or spinach. This is just so unfair, man. All right, um, Queen D8. Oh, he, he keep, keeps playing, but this is just checkmate in my mood. Thanks for the game, Mister uh, Mister What, Mister Marcus the Boss. Yeah, so is half vergessen, meine Deutsch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's take Osote. So, Osote from Mexico. Luis Guillermo Patiño. Are you there? Are you there, my friend Osote? All right, so what do you guys want me to play now? Accelerated Dragon? Sounds fun, yeah. Let's go for it. Accelerated Dragon. One of my favorite uh, openings with the, with the black pieces. Pretty aggressive. And uh, he goes for the Maroxi. Ah, he knows what he, for what he's doing. Yeah. Now he gave me the chance to to stop the Maroxi. If you want to go for the Maroxi system, you have to play instantaneously the move d4 because now d4 is almost impossible to achieve in these positions. And Black is more than fine here. Mm. So my next move probably is just d6, and then just to try to play e6, knight g2 e7, short castle. And position looks extremely healthy uh, for black. Also, the uh, the move e5 followed by knight e7. Let's go for this, yeah? Even though we can see the d5 square, black span is, is extremely easy. Uh, uh, it's extremely easy in the next move because we want to go short castle f5 and then try to attack on the king side. He's probably trying to go for some kind of a3 and b4, but we're stopping this probably with the move a5 now. And uh, yes, f5 is our next move for sure. Please, Pepe, tell people to speak in English. Yes, if you guys can speak English, it would be nice if you can uh, speak in English in the chat because this is a, a, an English stream, right? And uh, it's good because you can try to improve your, your English. So let's let's just uh, push with Facundo, yeah? Who solves your problem? Who solves your damn problems? Facundo always, you know, this is superstar. In chess 24. And um, so let's just uh, now, probably we could try some sort of King's Indian attack, yeah? With moves like f4, h6, g5, g4, etc. Now, probably this is a mistake. If he wants, yeah, he's just plundering a pawn because now we can take on d5 and then on b4 with our knight, right? So, yes, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Wow, b5, boom, knight c3, and then more material for us. We're just so happy because we are taking the rook on b1. He can try to take on c6, but he didn't. So this is even worse for him. So I'm just going to play knight e7, and now f4. As I was telling you guys, he resigns, and then we play another game. We play another game. Let's take some strong player, for example. His English, uh, you have an, in an Indian accent rather than Spanish. I can try to imitate some uh, accents. Uh, of course, our uh, Spanish accent is very strong. We have, yeah, we say we have two brothers. Um, yeah, we have a strong accent too. But Italian accent is very, very 
funny too, you know, because they 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 cannot pronounce the the this uh, sound. So we say they say uh, aus instead of house, right? And uh, it's the contrary uh, than Spanish accent, yeah. An Indian accent is uh, is very very funny too, yeah. I have a lot of Indian friends. I used to live with. Uh, sorry guys, what should I do here? A three or even G three? G three looks good. I used to live with one of my best friends, uh, Anand. Uh, it's not Vichy Anand, but uh, in my masters in the in the, in Poland and Italy, I used to live with my friend Anand. So I know how to speak in Indian English. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So Bishop F four now. This is what actually Anish Giri played in the candidates against Nepomniachtchi. Yeah, in that game that was completely crazy. Uh, Anish had uh, a really nice novelty. And a6, h3, I think this was the game, right? If I am not mistaken. Um, what do you want me to play here in this position? I can play h3. And uh, what is he reading? All these things he reads are not on YouTube. Yes, I am reading you guys too in, in, in YouTube. But mainly, I'm reading the Chess24 chat, but I try to read uh, both both chats, yeah? So, what should I do now? Queen C6? Is this some sort of novelty or whatever here? I don't get what's going on. This should be a lot of fun. This should be a lot of fun, my friends. So, he's trying to catch my rook right here on H1. So, probably E4 is the move here. I don't know, man. I don't know a theory here, but this looks like a nice move if we're just uh, powering that thread. Uh, and uh, have you played Magnus? Yeah, he actually crashed me in the in the Bante Blitz Cup in the second round, but I managed to make one draw. Yeah. So, you know, taking in, a, in account what happened yesterday in the semifinals is not a, <laughs> it's not a bad result, yeah? Oh, shit. So what happens here? Bishop c5. Maybe I'm just losing now. What, what, what did I do here? So maybe e4 it was a terrible blunder or what? Uh, probably the move was, I don't know. So can I go here? I'm probably I'm just losing. So knight d4? Well, I have to go knight d4. There's no other option here for me. So queen b6 just maybe. Knight a4 there. But this starts uh, looking very, very suspicious for me. I don't know, guys, what's going on. I'm just uh, very scared now with this position. And uh, pff, this is just too risky. This is the problem when you don't know the theory and then you play um, a very risky line. Uh, what is your favorite chess book, Pepe? Well, one of my favorites, uh, well, let me think first. <laughs> I'm going knight a4 here. I think it's the only move. And here I can play bishop d2, maybe. I don't know. Bishop b4. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on, guys. So probably knight c3 here. I, I mean, I'm about to blunder everything here. But if I manage to consolidate this position, it won't be that bad. It won't be that bad, so... But I don't know if I'll manage this. Let's see. Let's see. He goes uh, queen b6, which is a very nice move. I have a lot of troubles here, man. I have a lot of troubles. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. Let's play knight b5. Oof. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> There's a fork on f3. <laughs> but then I have some c5 ideas, guys. So bishop takes d2, queen takes d2, a6, c5 was my idea. Let's go for this, c5. And then queen takes just rook c1 and then knight c7, right? And then if he moves the queen away, then I've got this knight and knight squares on, on, on d6. He's got 50 seconds. And then, of course, I want to uh, kick this knight finally from g4. Now knight d6. Probably a3 is a good move. And then think we are in good shape finally in a crazy position. Bishop g2, but only 45 seconds in the clock. So let's just uh, try to play fast. Knight d6 probably, pawn takes. And then probably uh, give me that baby. Knight takes a6. And then some sort of e5. Uh, and then he, he has a really bad bishop on d7, as you guys can see. Let's just centralize the queen to stop queen b6. And now rook c1 is coming. Then his king is uh, just a very bad piece on the f8 square. And now, boom, let's just try to break 
everything with g4 trying to explode everything here but it's not gonna be easy let's play b4 so to stop c5 queen e8 just queen b6 queen c7 let's see what happens queen c8 i don't want to trade queens a4 b5 wow i gotta be careful a4 come on let's go b5 boom 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 queen b8 and then we won the game yeah sorry guys um what is your feeder rating pepe i got now 25 35 i think yeah, because I won seven points in my last tournament in Tunisia. Uh, what's going on there in the chat? Come on, guys. Let's just try to, to have fun, yeah? And don't fight among us, yeah? Because chess is love, you know? And we gotta love each other in these difficult times, you know? So let's take Kofre. Kofre, let's love each other, guys. Come on. Let's hug each other in these difficult times. Let's play some chess. And, you know, uh, let's not take broccoli. That's really important. And pineapple in pizza? What is this shit, man? What is this pineapple in pizza and fruits in pizza? This is just... Italians will kill us, you know? Mm, what is your favorite opening? Probably the Accelerated Dragon and the King's Indian and the Philidor defense. I will play the Philidor now. This is the opening that I used to play basically basically uh, the most, uh, well, during the last 10 years or something, yeah? Uh, so uh, what I mean by Philidors is e4, d6, d4, knight f6, knight c3, e5. Are you there, my friend? Sergio? Hmm... What is your favorite chess book? Well, I really like the Seventh uh, Death Scenes, I think it's called in English, from Jonathan Rosen, which is a uh, grandmaster from, uh, from, from, from Great Britain. I think, I don't know if he's English or Scottish. Somebody can tell me. But he's not here, but that was a really good uh, book to, to read. Yeah, it was uh, really entertained, entertaining. And uh, yeah, let's play against Future GM. I hope you become a GM, my friend, from Ireland. What's your favorite song in English? That's a tough question, yeah? I have a lot of uh, songs that I like in English. For example, hmm, Stink, Police, yeah? That was one of my favorite groups, English songs, I mean. So here, Night Takes E5, this is uh, in a series that is going to be released pretty soon in chess 24. The idea is just to play d4 and bishop b4 is theory, knight takes e4 and queen f3. I recommend you to uh, check the game between Magnus Carlsen and, and Anish Giri from the last uh, World Blitz Championship, I think, in Russia. Ah, queen h4. I think I, I really found a, a nice novelty. Well, no, no, not novelty. There's only one game. So I think g3 was the best move here. Let me remember. Let me remember, yeah, g3 and knight g5 is Black's idea. That's the only good move here. And here, well, I don't remember anything, but I think it was queen e2, the move. Queen e2, and then queen e4. Okay, but I think this is losing, yeah? I think this is losing because of bishop g5, queen h1, and here f3. Here f3 was really, really, really good after queen h1 because... Uh, now the queen is trapped and white's plan is really really simple we want to play short long castle bishop g2 bishop h4 after queen h2 and then rook h1 here i'm revealing one of uh, the lines that is going to be released in this chess uh, video series in chess 24. um smoke in the water yeah smoke in the water bam, bam, bam. Um, so bishop c5 where are you going my friend i think where, where is he going he wants to go with queen g1 or something i don't believe that also knight d5 looks winning yeah let's just go long castle here and uh yes so now my plan 
Could be just to play bishop g2 and bishop h4 and rook h1 just trapping the queen. But he goes queen g1. He's trying to escape with the queen. And we are not, of course, allowing this because he wants to go queen f2. So knight e4 does the job here, right? Knight e4 does the job. And here, next move probably is just bishop g2 and then he's got the same trouble. Bishop g2 followed by rook h1 just wins. And the... Uh... How hard is to become a GM? Well, it's 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 hard, yeah. I became GM only in 2015 when I was 28. And uh, you know, I stopped playing tournaments when I entered the university. And then the well, I had almost quit chess actually. Uh, because I was doing my PhD and stuff, but then my friend Lawrence Trent came to to visit me in Hamburg in Germany where I was working as a researcher at the university. And uh, I started working in Chess24 by, by, by coincidence. And uh, that's why I started playing chess back again. And this is actually my main job now. So, so here, what should I play? Bishop f4 maybe? Let's play bishop f4. Now he goes g5. Then we have this nice square for the, for the knight to jump. And uh, yeah, it's got only 50 seconds. Bebe, what was your field of study? Well, I have a PhD in applied mathematics and uh, I was working with ultrasounds in, uh, yeah. So basically there was this company, they used to manufacture uh, steel tubes, yeah. So imagine these steel tubes uh, can transport uh, gas, for example, and uh, well, night of six? No, night of six just loses. And uh, yeah, so in this, uh, when, whenever they constructed, they build these tubes, basically um, uh, every 10 meters, uh, you have to, how, how to say this? Um, every 10 meters, you have to join uh, two parts of, of the tube, right? So uh, that's why in these parts is basically where uh, there's more tension and where there are more failures yeah so that's why we used to send ultrasound it's called non-destructive testing uh, to check those uh, those pores for example yeah and we used to process all this uh, data and try to locate the the defects yeah fella i think it's called fella in 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 german right defect fella uh, but actually, I'm not a mathematician. I'm just a civil engineer. Yeah. So basically, I know nothing about uh, anything. <laughs> uh, let's play against Dangerous Right. When did you start competing in chess? When I was six or something. Ah, um, um, for this, for this uh, ultrasonic testing, I used uh, persistent homology, which is uh, a branch of topology. So that's why I was using mathematics in something applied, yeah? So bishop g7, e d6. And uh, short castle on here, we're playing bishop g4. Ah, he didn't allow me. All right, so let's go for the main line. I recommend you to follow the Robin uh, van Kampen video series. With this line, he recommends the move knight h5. Of course, now g4 doesn't make any sense because we jump to, um, we jump to the f4 square. And yeah, g4 is not supposed to be the, the main move here. So because now, look at this bishop, man. Look at this bishop on g7. Such a fantastic piece. So let's develop this knight from uh, a6. And here, knight c5. The thing is, b4 is not possible because of knight e4. And he's not playing b4. We are playing a4, a5 and a4. And then this knight on c5 will be fantastically placed, right? <clears throat> uh, Pepe, are you scared of uh, getting bald like Dibis? <laughs> That's a nice question. <laughs> uh, let's play rookie eight. So before again, I think it's not possible. I was really lucky. Yeah, I still have my strong hair here, and uh, let's see until until when you know. 
because uh, someday you're laughing uh, out of your friend and then next day you start losing her you know and then <laughs> but you know when you start losing her there's only one option yeah just go to the gym and then get your six pack yeah that's uh that's it that's life you know that's life uh kini too and here has ah, so many interesting moves so i'm just gonna go for the simple one which is a five stop in b4 and uh knight b5 okay so probably just rook e7 looks natural to to protect c7 and here at some point i should uh call facundo yeah call facundo wake him up just uh give him some uh, give him some hot chocolate and then yeah let's go to the action facundo so f5 and of course i want to open every every line possible right so every file possible every possible file sorry because uh, his skin is in the center yeah um another it's very cheap right there in in turkey i keep actually because of my age i think i keep receiving a lot of messages in my facebook of uh turkish actually offers uh for hair repairing yeah what should i do here just uh take on e4 or just bishop d7 let's play bishop d7 and uh b4 okay my friend so now yeah this was uh at least interesting this was interesting can i hmm can i play queen g3 no can I play queen g3? No, this looks stupid. Can I play bishop c3? Followed, yeah, bishop c3 looks good. So queen takes c3 and then f takes e4. If b takes e5, just e takes f3. King f3 and then queen g3 checkmate. You guys are following the line. So pawn takes. And then I think he's forced to take on e4. Bishop, uh, pawn takes c5, pawn takes f3. King takes f3, not to lose the bishop on g2. And then queen g3 just uh, checkmate, right? And uh, Pepe, uh, you made a draw against Carlsen. Does that mean that you are better than Zugirov? Of course not. He's a much better player than I am. This is just a very simple question to uh, answer. You guys, it's very simple to, to measure the strength of a player in chess. Uh, the ELO, uh, the rating, uh, the ELO rating is very, very uh, objective, let's say. So let's play knight a4 for example yeah let's play knight a4 attacking the queen maybe he's surviving this guy he's gonna survive in this position cannot believe this and uh queen f3 all right that sounds good he wants to take on f4 we are not allowing this so that's why we're playing rook f8 he takes back on a5 then just knight c5 and then this knight is back in the game yeah pepe is is considering going to turkey <laughs> uh okay see you dutch defender see you next next time yeah take care promise me this promise me this all right so let's just bring the queen to the action now to the best diagonal which is uh h8 a1 in this position and here well it's not clear how to proceed let's just try to break with b5 and then he's got c5 and just doing so many stupid stuff now uh, he managed to survive, but I have a nice news for me, which is uh, this knight is back in the game. Uh, let's play again queen h4. He's got only... Mm, he just uh, blundered this pawn on e4, so I'll just take it. And here, rook e3, for example, check, takes, takes, and then queen f2, and followed by queen g2. And this is checkmate soon. This is checkmate very, very soon. And here, well, do I have checkmate? Well, let's just play queen f2. And then he just loses some time. Thank you. Dangerous right. Uh, let's take some feed and master. Yeah, let's take uh, Wilhaven from Colombia. David Castañeda, 2,800 players. So we have to focus. Let's play against c4. Mm. c4, are you there, Wilhaven? Knight f6, knight c3, e6. All right. So let's play d4, d5 probably, or bishop b4, which is the Nimzo Indian defense. And here just queen c2. Queen c2, short castle, knight f3. This is what Jan Gustafsson recommends in his video series. Now c5, this main, main move. d5, I think what Jan recommends is bishop f4 in this position. And of course, I don't remember anything. Last time I checked his video series was probably two years ago. 
c5 was the critical move now d takes c5 and here queen a5 and then this was getting crazy at some point but as i'm telling you guys i don't remember anything i think queen a5 e3 knight e4 rook c1 queen a2 this is something that Jan covers in the, his video series but let's see knight a6 and now well now let's play let's play e3 which is very, very natural to develop this guy to e2. And in these positions, if white manages to develop uh, the king, probably it's a little bit better because of the structure, yeah? So now I'm just gonna go short castle, uh, probably bishop f5, which is an interesting move, but then bishop d3, followed by knight d4. And... Uh, Exactly, as La Roca says, uh, I already had my final against uh, uh, the opportunity to play against Magnus Carlsen. This is uh, something which is incredible, right? Uh, none of us uh, could think that this was going to be possible mm, nowadays. But thanks to the Vanderblitz cap, uh, this is possible, actually, in fact. So now I'm a little bit worried with my position. I am a little bit worried with my position. Maybe just uh, taking on e4 is good. Because if I play bishop d3, just rook c8 was very, very annoying. And there's, there was a na nasty pin on the c file. Pawn takes e4, now knight d4. And then we have a fantastic square for this knight on d4. Probably these rooks are coming to the d file and c file. And uh, we have some nice ideas with queen knight b5 too. But here, I think... What I think? Do I think uh, something or no? Just playing queen b3 here, attacking this bishop. Probably queen b6 is the best move because queen e7. There's nothing happening to him here. Cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Let's just uh, pin this knight on f6. Uh, let's keep uh, bringing rooks to the action, to the d file and c file. Pepe, do you think that Granada is the most beautiful city in the of Europe. It's one of the most uh, beautiful cities, definitely. I recommend you guys uh, to go to to Granada, my city. I love it. You can visit the Alhambra, you can take some tapas. It's one of the few cities in Spain uh, where you can actually have tapas for free. You order a Coke, you order a beer, for example, and then you get a free tapa, uh, which is uh, normally even the i mean with two tapas you can eat yeah with uh, let's say with four euros uh, you can have dinner in granada yeah and uh, yeah you have sierra nevada if you like skiing and uh, in winter which is also very nice um definitely you have to come bishop f5 mm, i'm doing something strange here doing strange stuff but, uh, well, Pepe, come on, focus, Pepe, Pepe, 96, boom, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook c1, bishop e7, and I think we're winning this position, because now there's a fork on c8 and f5, has anyone been to Ronda, Ronda, it's uh, very nice, I've been there for holidays, like two, three times, and there used to be a really strong tournament in Ronda, it's a village in the Malaga province, and, uh, Yep, so I think it's got to resign here. Well, resign, not necessary, but definitely... Oh, shh! Nothing happens, right? <laughs> Nothing happens. I got rook d1. Okay, I, I was really scared for a second, but then I realized this is nothing special, or maybe it is. Oh, my God! He's got bishop e6. It's, ah, this is just doesn't work. Just queen b7. The rook is protected. Come on, Pepe. You gotta be faster. Bishop e2, just covering everything there. Now... Actually, uh, well, 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 let's play h3, rook d2, and I don't see a clear way of winning, queen b5, this is very, very dangerous, probably bishop c4, let's go, bishop c4 just trading some pieces, he cannot take then on b2, probably, or he can, I don't know, just queen d4, rook b1, only move, and then king g7, but then there's a nasty pin here, and then let's just play queen e5, g4, that was my idea, in order to play g5, and I think it's got to resign, because g5 is unstoppable. After g5, we just grab this pawn, and then grab this knight, and then grab his glasses! Queen f6. Check. Check. Give me that, baby. King g3. 
Premove on e8. Oh, not premove there. Queen f5. Now check on g5, and then our friend Will Hafen from Colombia has to resign. Good promotion of your city, Pepe. I made that question on purpose. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, after playing your famous match against uh, Magnus, would you say you have learned something? What was it like? Well, uh, I was feeling like a dog playing chess, you know, like a baby playing against uh, an adult. You know, he was uh, better in every uh, aspect of the game. And I was suffering a lot, but I, at the same time, I was enjoying a lot. So that's another point for free. What, what, what happened? What happens uh, to you guys? Just protect this pawn on e4. Yeah. Can I take it? I think so. Yeah. This looks tasty. So I'm just going to grab it and then g5. Nothing happens. Knight f6 back. And uh, all right. Let's just play d5. Now neutralizing this bishop on c4, which is probably a dangerous piece. But just now, e6, solid, bishop e7, short castle, and black's fine. Definitely, black is fine. So we're going short castle here, c5, occupying the center. And yeah, d4, all right. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I don't win a piece because I thought c4 was winning, but then bishop a4, queen a5, c3, and then, and then he survives. But there is a way. Come on, guys. Did you see? Do you see the combination? Don't make me lose some time. Yeah. Just tell me it's a combination of two moves. Well, three moves to get the piece. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yes. A high 2004 saw it. C4, bishop a4, only move, and then queen a5. You guys are paying attention. You guys are paying attention. That's good. Then queen a5, and then I grab this guy. Awesome. This is a piece for free again. And uh, you guys know I love pieces for free. So I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to grab everything possible in this position. Just if he plays rook b1, I'll take another one. If he gives me another one, I'll take another one. Of course, happy to exchange queens in this position. Knight c6, bishop d7, rook to b8, trade everything. And uh, that's it. Oh, we got there. Rafi Macken, strong player from Deutschland. Yeah, so what should I do? Knight e5, d takes e5, don't like it. So bishop b7, just rook b1. It's a little bit unpleasant. Yeah, let's go knight a5. I don't know, but knight e2, let's just play h6, giving some fresh air to my king. And uh, knight e4 is my next idea. So for example, here g5, bishop g3, knight e4, and uh, just trying to collect this guy on g3, then uh, kick this knight from e5 with the move f6, right? And then later, just play bishop d7, bring a rook to the b-file, <laughs> and uh, yeah, bishop d6, f4, well, f6, now knight g6 is not dangerous at all because before, well, it's, it was not dangerous. We, I mean, we are a piece up, yeah? So life is great with a piece up. Knight c6. And uh, yeah, he should resign very, very soon in this position. Okay, let's play against Raffaello. Let's play against Raffaello. 2933. But now I get the white pieces. Before, I used to get black pieces in all my games against Raffaello. Knight f3. Knight. Let's play the Catalan, one of my favorite openings, or even the Reti. Yeah, the Reti with double fianchetto, bishop g2, short castle, short castle. Here, here, e3. Uh, it's uh, well, c5, e3 again, bishop a6. Oh, oh, he's well prepared, he's well prepared. And now knight e5 looks interesting, at least, at least looks very, 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 very interesting. It's interesting or not. It's interesting or not? I don't know, man. Maybe not. Maybe it's just bullshit. Let's go. Let's go for 95. Why not? Let's go for 95. Knight FD7 probably is the best move here for black. Because if knight D7, then knight C6. Um, knight E5, knight FD7. This was a good move. And here I was thinking about going crazy, which probably is not a very good idea. 
probably it's not a very good idea, but I really wanted to go crazy here. I really wanted to go crazy here, but maybe it's just a terrible decision. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should I go crazy or not? Should I go crazy or not? Knight takes e7, boom, 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 boom. Maybe just uh, knight takes e7, and then knight c3, using the fact that the rook on the a8 is hanging. And then he's going to play bishop b7, and I think black is fine. And I think black is fine. So what can I do? But then bishop f6, what is this? Can I just take on? I think I can take here. Can I take here? I'm going to take there, because after bishop f1, I have this intermediate move. But then he has a nice uh, sacrifice. Bishop f1, d takes e6, bishop g2, pawn takes e7, and then he removes the bishop. I'm not sure about that position, so he decided to take there, but that should be that should be maybe a good move. Well, bishop d5 is possible, actually. Yeah, let's go. Let's go bishop d5, because after bishop c3, I can take with the d-pawn, and then I protect this guy, and probably we have a nice advantage here. Bishop f1, just bishop a8. Or even king f1. No, king f1 is, is, is just rubbish. Uh, bishop f1, just bishop a8. That was my idea, right? We have to go for this. And I think this is just a pawn up. Well, he's got some pressure, definitely. On the d2 pawn. Bishop d3, all right. And here, mm-hmm. Well, 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 well. Let's go back to g2, for example. Yeah, he's got some pressure. I don't like this. I don't like this. But we can use this move, knight a4, to uh, remove the pressure a little bit. And then after bishop takes b2, knight takes b2, then we're attacking this guy on d3. So we're winning some tempi here. He's got 1 minute 34 seconds. We got 1 minute 20. Uh, hmm. Well, now it's time to take this guy here on f6. And now it's time to go back to c3. We can jump to d5 in these positions. So we can play bishop e4, definitely, too. So I think white is much better now. White is much better. But then, of course, we have to be really, really, really careful. Queen f3 looks uh, good. Queen f3 looks good. I'm not so sure about anything, but what can we do? Rook c1, too. Let's play rook c1. Uh, f4 now, attacking this knight, let's go, let's go, we have only 54 seconds, we have to play faster, you don't want to lose some time here in this position, come on Pepe, let's play queen f3, attacking this knight, also knight d5 is an interesting idea, also e4, now e4 looks very, very good. E4 looks very, very good controlling this knight. E5 is a move that is coming. Now I'm happy to exchange everything. Queen takes E3. He doesn't want to trade. He doesn't want to trade, but let's keep attacking. Let's keep attacking with F5. Here Facunda comes to solve the issue, as usually. Now, whenever he moves the knight, we can jump to D5 with our beautiful Corsal here. He's got Bishop A6. And now let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing with G4. You know, to go G5 maybe and F6. 37 seconds in the clock. Come on, Pepe. Come on, Pepe. Play faster. H6. Let's go H4 here. Rook D3. Wow, I didn't see this coming. So Queen F4 is only move here. Queen D4. Now I'm struggling here in this position. I'm struggling a lot. Rook D2. This doesn't look very good here, guys. This last doesn't look very good. Mmm, shit. <laughs> What should I do? Let's play g5. Ah, 20 seconds in the clock. He's gonna beat me. He's gonna beat me. He's gonna beat me very hard now. I don't have anything. Oh, knight d5? Can I play this move? Let's play knight d5 here. Knight e5 is coming or what? I don't know, man. But then f6. Let's see what, hap what happens. f6. f6. I'm almost there. So knight e7. But nothing happens. I'm gonna play... Oh, rook f1. 7 seconds. <laughs> Queen h4, he's gonna run, he's gonna run, this guy, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. Whoa, I just, uh, I just blundered this. <laughs> oh my god, I just blundered everything. All right, thank you, Raphael, for the game. He's too strong. Mm, all right, so let's keep playing against uh, Dragon. Today I was having a nice day, yeah? All victories. But then there's always time for, for the loss, yeah? Okay, let's play my favorite openings. Uh, my favorite opening, sorry, the mm, Philidor, yeah? D6. 
No, did I did I have mating one? Shit, I did I have mating one? No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, no way. Wait, let me see in the stream. Let me see in the stream, but I don't believe this. Well, let me see. Well, he's got he had queen d king d6 and then it was not mate, but almost, yep. Yeah. Queen c8, king d6, and then king b8, king e6, and then maybe he's surviving, yeah? No, he was not mate. He was not mate, but but almost, yeah? Knight f6. And uh, knight c3, e5. Yeah, I should have played that, of course. I don't know why in my mind the knight on e7 was black, yeah? <laughs> so... And I am not daltonic or anything, yeah? I'm just stupid, yeah? So this is the Philidor, yeah? One of my favorite uh, defenses. The endgame is not critical at all, and uh, black is just in good shape. Let's try to prove this. Knight f3, bishop d6. This is the move that I usually play against knight f3. And uh, yeah, so here this king normally comes to e7. Bishop g5 here. Now knight b to d7, I think it's the move. And then after short, long castle, a6. In order to stop knight b5, right? Then we can kick this, we can kick, sorry, this bishop with a6. And uh, so guys, from where are you watching this stream? I know there are a lot of Spanish speakers, uh, but is there somebody from, from Africa, for example? from Australia, from, I don't know, from where are you guys from? India. Did I say correctly what I said or not? This is just a pawn for free, right? Knight takes e4, knight takes d6, and knight takes back. Serbia, Copenhagen, there, Magwal, man. Copenhagen, one of my favorite cities, man. One of my best friends lives there, and then I visit, uh, used to visit him a lot, yeah. Copenhagen. And Distortion Festival is just uh, amazing, yeah. Distortion. Scotland, too. Thailand over there. I was there in Phuket. I was uh, there for a conference uh, when I was in my PhD. I was actually in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And then I went for holidays to Phuket with my brother, and it was uh, amazing, yeah. Mm, Poland. Home. I've been in Poland too. I was studying there in, in Gdansk Polytechnica. In Gdansk Polytechnica. Bishop F5, Sapiekanka, Pierogi. Polish food is the best, man. Polish food. I know before I was saying that Mexican food was the best, was the best, yeah. <laughs> but Polish food is just amazing too. I cannot castle, of course. I just moved the king in in move number uh, whatever, yeah? Uh, two or three. <laughs> Um, Tunisia. Oh, I was there in Jerva in this tournament that uh, Mr. Chokri organized. A really nice tournament in Tunisia. USA, USA, Mr. Trips from Michigan. Bishop B4. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty annoying move, actually. What should I do now? Bishop d5, I guess. Rook d5. And then did I just uh, blunder something? No, I had knight e4. Okay. I was lucky. Because rook d5, knight c2, e4. And uh, yes, I think we're in good shape here. Paris, l'amour, la France. Nicolas from Paris. My French is terrible. Terrible. I don't know. I cannot understand even two sentences of French. Yeah. Israel. I want to visit Israel. Uh, my friends told me that Tel Aviv is a lot of fun, for example. The the beach now the, out, out there is really nice. But Pepe, focus a little bit, stupid guy, because now we are short of, on time, yeah? King F7. I also said Granada food, yeah. I, I agree, I agree. I agree, guys. So let's play Rook D8 here, trying to trade some pieces. Yeah, I think uh, if he plays Knight D2, now... I am in good shape, definitely. Let's play rook d7 in order to double rooks on the d5. No problems about c4, because now we just trade everything, and then c5 is going to be very, very weak. Take takes, f3 probably. 
and here knight g5 king c6 knight e6 this king comes to d5 let's go there and the knight comes to e6 and then c5 is gonna be very 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 tasty very 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 tasty c5 come on carlitos come on carlitos a5 boom knight d4 boom Knight f5 is the next move. Check, check. Check, check. Give me that, baby. Knight f5. Boom. Pre move. G6. Thanks for the game, Mr. Dragon. Um, I am Mauli from India. How to improve my rating from 1300? Well, this is uh, the gold uh, question. Yeah. If I had the answer uh, of how to improve like uh, from this level to this level then i would be magnus galsen no but i understand your question i think it's very very important to do a lot of tactics do a lot of tactics don't focus in openings yeah don't get crazy standing 40 moves in the nidorf defense because then you're blundering pieces you don't know what a pin is you don't know what a fork is so it's much more important to focus on tactics every day of course try to study some games too but then uh, go to the tactic trainer and uh, and then first improve that part of the game yeah because 99 percent of uh, the games in, in that level will be decided on tactics tactic shots yeah uh, what time did i start this show i don't even remember <laughs> i don't even remember 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 it was i guess at uh 7 45 or something so we, we still have uh 45 uh sorry let me think uh half an hour more yeah uh rookie one let's just go short castle what day it is i don't know where, where where i live when i live and how i live anymore you know because this uh quarantine i've been locked up here for 20 days we have five uh dirty guys in the same flat um you know it's not good it's not good <laughs> definitely i hope this ends uh really relatively soon you know, otherwise you know life is too hard and hard is my position here too because he's going all in against my king it's not easy not easy my friend this reminds me to the game of uh, well i was about to play knight g6 and just blundered um a piece but i was gonna say that this reminds me to the game between magnus and uh and uh Zujiro, where he had a bishop on c8 another on b6 and then boom 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 rook e5 but of course it's not close yeah and um well bishop e6 and then he's uh well he puts a knight on f5 we just trade it and here after knight f5 we have a tough decision we take this knight on f5 which is very annoying but then we lose the bishop pair, or we take this bishop on b3 and then we leave this knight forever on f5 i guess i will take this guy on f5 because he's just too dangerous there are too many tactical shots here with uh, sacrifices on h6 and so i guess i'm gonna take and then and grab the center with d5 here and then c6 uh play solid and then uh you know strength my my center and then play queen d6 connect the rooks etc where where else are you from here and just read in the chat georgia oh my god you know i lost my my flight when i was at the olympiad <laughs> uh last uh well first let me think uh c6 no let's play queen d6 i was in batumi yeah in the olympia 2018 i guess yeah 2018 and uh i was in batumi and then we had to travel till tiflis and yeah we the the bus uh you know broke and yeah i just lost my connection it was uh <laughs> terrible yeah uh, but I had a lot of fun. How is this uh, typical Georgian food? Uh, it's some sort of... Um, it's similar to pizza, but it's not pizza. Kashapuri? No, Kashapuri? <laughs> All right, D4. This is just a pawn for free or not? Yeah, it is a pawn for free. So give me that. Maybe... Yeah, it, it is a pawn for free. Only that. But my structure is pretty... 
It's pretty bad, so still it's not the end of the world for him. So bishop f4. And here, that was a good move, my friend. I'm just gonna play... Ooh, terrible move, Pepon. Terrible move. Oof, oof, oof. I'm gonna play rook d8 here. After rook takes, king takes e8. That was my idea. And then he gives another check. Then I'll bring the king to the center. And uh, rook e1, just king d7, c takes e4, bishop takes d4. And yeah, I think position is more or less equal. Equal, but now maybe we have some interesting chances. Because we can take on c3 and then play knight e4, but then bishop d5, not so sure. So let's just bring the king. So we free the rook, and then this rook can join now the party on the e-file, maybe. <clears throat> so, 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 let's take this guy. Now, knight e4 is a very interesting move. Because now if bishop takes d5, knight f2, and then there is a nasty discovered move later with knight d3, for example, knight h3, or even another square. But definitely, um, white hat uh, has to be really, really careful here in this uh, in this position, right? Because also the c3 pawn is hanging, then we can take this pawn on c3, then reinforce that knight on c3 with the pawn on b4. So... Normally I take uh, three minute games, okay? Because uh, there, we can play uh, more people. Yeah, more people can play, sorry. So 94, two minutes for Super Master, which took on d5. Sounds very reasonable, but then we just grab Facundo. Now there are Facundo twins in this position, f2 and f5. So we just go back now probably to c5. Because we protect d6, which is our main weakness in this position. And now this knight can actually take on c3. He doesn't protect that guy. Uh, bishop c2, and then just uh, knight c3. Just another pawn for free. And then this this is also very, very tasty, the pawn on a2. Pepe, how do you call Facundo uh, in English? Facundo is Facundo in every language, you know? So we cannot call it uh, in another way so po -po 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 night before attacking the rook and then i don't like this move but may maybe king e7 followed by or even just rook f8 yeah this looks very very ugly but my plan is now very simple we have three pass pawns so why not to push them yeah a5 a4 a3 a2 and then queen let's just try to to do this yeah um, bishop g4 is intending well some f6 discover move so let's just play f6 ourselves so no uh, nasty threats anymore for us and then a4 a3 as i was telling you guys even rook e8 now looks good if bishop e2 we can just play king c6 protecting b5 because bishop g3 i don't understand that move so let's keep pushing Bishop f2, but definitely this doesn't bother us because now this is almost a queen already. This small pawn on the a file. And uh, yeah, it's nine o'clock almost. Yeah, so we're going to be here for at least for 15 more minutes. Yeah, and then we have to finish our session playing one minute games. Yeah, as you guys know. Whoa, rook a8, bishop d1, only move, not to lose immediately. And then, for example, I don't know, just rook a3. Then basically he cannot move anything. So we can even push the d-pawn now. Let's push the d-pawn. This king can never get close uh, close to, to the a2-pawn. Even if he gets close there, it's no problem for us. Does he accept challenge from lower rated players? Of course, Gustav Gustafsson Gambit. Pepe, who's gonna win the Bante Blitz Cup? I would say uh, that um, Magnus Carlsen, but you never know. Let's play rook g3. Uh, Firuza is extremely strong. What I think is uh, Firuza is uh, going through the finals, yeah? I'm almost sure about this, but Narajanan is extremely strong, yeah? He's extremely strong. Indian player, d3. Now he's running out of mobs. Super master of chess. And uh, takes, takes. He's going to try the last trick with f6, probably. 
at some point. Now, how are you going to stop the three of us? Yeah, how are you going to stop the three of us? Boom! Now, this is a matter of time. See so you guys know. Check here and checkmate. Thanks for the game, Supermaster. Um, well, Pepe, who's better? Magnus or Kasparov? I, in my opinion, Magnus is the best player in history. But this is just uh, my opinion. And uh, of course, uh, it's, uh, in my opinion, it's very stupid to compare uh, players from different times. Because uh, nowadays we have another tools that they didn't have in the in the past. It's uh, nonsense to compare uh, Magnus Carlsen against Fischer. Why? Because uh, now we can use Stockfish, we can use uh, Alpha Zero or Lila Zero, whatever you guys use. Not Alpha Zero, but engines, right? And we know more about the sport nowadays, and we have this help from the from the machines that they didn't have in the past. So. It's just uh, very stupid to compare, in my opinion, yeah? Mm. So, this is very strange. Normally, in the London system, people go Bishop G3 instead of G3, because now this doesn't make any sense, as you guys can see, because uh, too many weaknesses uh, with this G3 move. But here, just uh, let's just keep playing with uh, Bishop B7, for example. He wants to go e4? No, he doesn't want to go e4. So now, let's just uh, play knight e7, a move uh, which is done in these positions to control the e4 square, as you guys can see. Exactly, it's like comparing tennis players from different eras, uh, or, for example, uh, NBA players, yeah? So nowadays, <laughs> you know, they're super strong, yeah? And, of course... Uh, you know the training systems are different. Uh, uh, it's just uh, it's just uh, nonsense for me. So, Bishop there now he wants to checkmate me for sure with Queen D three. No, he doesn't go for the trick. All right, so let's stop the trick anyway with move F five with Facundo. Now this Bishop comes to E four, for example. Yeah, this is just uh, too good for Black, as you guys can see. Oh, right, so ninety five. I think uh, I find it unfair that people are already talking about Aliresa versus Magnus. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's clear that uh, Aliresa is favorite, uh, but uh, I mean, in my opinion, uh, Nara Yanan, it's, it's a beast. It's a beast. I really like his uh, his play. But one of the problems uh, probably is his internet too. Probably uh, Firuza connection is uh, much, much faster than the, than Narayanan. And uh, this can be actually something very important in an online tournament. And uh, I'm talking about this because he actually had a power cut uh, in the last uh, quarterfinal. So I hope he, he can fix this and then he can have uh, a nice match in equal conditions. Yeah. I hope he can fix this f4 let's close the position and um, predictions are fair are unfair i don't think so i think we can talk about everything of course i mean uh, <laughs> you guys uh, <laughs> know what people were saying yeah when when i was uh, when i had to face magnus yeah <laughs> you can imagine what people were saying before the match <laughs> Actually, you guys have seen these memes uh, from it's it's a lot of fun, yeah. With these uh, guys from Ghana, uh, they are carrying <laughs> this coffin, yeah. <laughs> so let's grab this pawn on e3. Who's gonna play the uh, Magnus Invitational? Will we uh, we will be announcing the players very 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 soon. We cannot. Uh, I cannot tell you the players already. Uh, but uh, I'm going to tell you that it's going to be amazing, amazing. If you think uh, in something big, uh, you are right. So we're going to have uh, the best chess during two weeks here in Chess24 in uh, a unique event. Yeah, a unique event in the history of online chess. 
So let's play against uh, some somebody strong, for example, 2600 player. And d4, and let's play the Benko Gambit, yeah? One of my favorite uh, defenses too. And, well, bishop g5, all right. This is the Tromposki system. Let's play solid with d5. What do you think of chess uh, 960? I think it's really interesting. There is another version of chess which uh, has been invented by strong grandmasters from Spain, Miguel Illescas, which is actually very, very interesting. Uh, he proposes a piece called the dragon. The dragon, which is a combination of a knight and a bishop. So basically a dragon is extremely strong. It's almost like a queen or even uh, some people think it's uh, even stronger than, than the queen. But definitely when you play uh, this dragon chess, it's a really good exercise um, uh, for, for calculation, yeah? So just try to, to play one of that games and then you will realize how fun it is. 95, all right, let's go short castle. Basically, so for example, a dragon, uh, imagine that uh, black has a king on h8, yeah? Here on h8, so a dragon on f6, white dragon on f6 it's it's checkmate right because it's combination of knight and bishop so here i mean i was just tired of uh keeping the tension so let's just exchange everything and queen e7 and here bishop e4 looks good now bishop f3 all right yeah he managed to get a decent position and now, so I want to keep uh, some pieces in the board. So let's just retreat this guy to g6 and then probably try to force uh, the issue with f6 at some point. Otherwise, I don't know what am I going to do. So maybe b5 too. Let's go b5. Ah, when do you place the dragon? Well, the dragon, you can put it uh, whenever there's a free spot in the background. When you have moved any of your pieces, then one of your moves can be to put the dragon in the board. Yeah. Let's play a6. Is probably striking with e4 here or not? I don't know. But even though uh, he manages to strike with e4, I think black is fine here. Um, so a6. And let's see well, how can I continue because I'm 30 seconds down in the clock. Mm, let's play rook d8 in case he wants to play e4. So we play prophylactically to occupy after some exchanges uh, the d5 square and then to double rooks. For example, this is what I was hoping for. And now, and just now, I'm just going to take here. And now I'm going to take on e4. Rook takes on d4. And then he can take with the rook. Yeah, this I didn't think about. So I was thinking c takes d4 and then rook d5 and then black was better so this is uh, more or less an equal position and then i have to be careful with my time pepon mm. rook takes d4 and now probably he can double rooks on the d file rook f to d1 and then my idea is just to to take on d4 well what can i do i have to take after c weak queen takes and now i'm just gonna give some fresh air to my king with move like g6 we don't have we don't want uh, background problems we don't want background problems so rook c5 let's play this move of course my threat now is rook d5 so he's got to do something about it he's got to do something about it and it's not easy because this pawn is very very weak very 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 weak queen g5 let's go let's go now looking for counter play rook e1 uh, probably the best move so now i'm just gonna Improve my king situation with king g7. And now probably h5 is going to be my move here. And this rook can come to the d file as well. h4. Hmm. Now queen d8. Again, we are occupying the d file. Rook d5. 44 seconds. Queen c7. Attacking e5. It's got to go back probably. Go back, my friend. Go back. Queen c6. Let's see if I can create some sort of trick here. No, he doesn't allow me. It goes king h3. Now a5 is coming. Let's go, my friend. H5, A5, in order to break with uh, B4. Let's go, Rook C5, in order to go, Rook G, C4 here in this position. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Queen F6, wow. 
Oh my god, King h7 is going to play rook f2, but then King g8, the pawn on e5 is hanging. Let's see what happens. Rook d5, so to stop rook d2, queen f4, queen d7. I don't know what's going on here, just uh, a4 to fix, uh, to fix the structure there. c4, he breaks, but then rook d4. Now queen d5 is coming, queen d5 is coming. No, he doesn't allow me, so rook d1. Let's see if I can play queen b7, queen b7. Now I'm threatening checkmate, bro, he's got to go rook g2. Rook d2, but then my, my queen comes into the action. Queen e4, followed by queen e1, followed by queen h1, checkmate. This is gonna be a nut. This is gonna be queen f2. Now queen b1. Threatening checkmate. Probably. Oh, rook h1. Let's just take this guy here. Let's just take check, 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 check. He's surviving? I don't believe this. What is this shit? So give me that. Check, check. Give me this. King g7. Rook h4. Check. Here. Check. He's too fast. Check. There. There. Ah. Oh. Oh, pre-move. Yes. And, uh, all right, guys. So let's play some one-minute games, okay? One-minute games because we are uh, reaching the end of the session. And uh... da, 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 da. And uh, I'm waiting for your one minute games. Let's play against. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you, Pablo? I'm gonna do this crazy experiment as usual. Yeah. Ooh, settings, and then we play blindfold. We play blindfold. One minute game. D4. Let's go for C5. C5. C takes D4. Give me that, baby. Queen takes D4. Knight C6. Attacking the queen. Queen D1, G6, Fianchetto, Bishop G7, let's go, Knight F6, now we're going for Short Castle, Short Castle, Short Castle, D6, Bishop G4, attacking the Knight on F3, Knight E5, let's see what happens, Knight E5, attacking the Bishop on D3, he's got to take there, Bishop takes, now Bishop takes, we can take the pawn on C4, he has to take with the pawn back, so Knight C6 back to stop uh, his ideas, Knight A5, attacking the Queen now, he's got to go back, uh, Queen C2, Rook C8, he's got to protect that pawn, with B3 probably, now A6, now intending to go B5, let's see, he's got the balls to take that pawn on B5 or not, you got the balls to take that pawn or not, let's play B4, attacking the Knight on C3, Knight D5, now we gotta take here, now Queen takes, now we're going back with the Knight on C6, and then we have a solid position, Queen D7, now followed by e6, e4, he goes with e4, e6, attacking the queen, nothing happens. Just play h6, attacking the bishop. I just blundered that pawn, but nothing happened because life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Now he's taking on g7 or not. Bishop d3, okay. So let's play knight e5, attacking the, the, the bishop on d3. So f4, and then uh, king takes, king g7, and takes, takes... And uh, e5, sorry, knight d3, and now e5, rook f5, this is just a blunder, pawn takes f5, king f7, the king runs, the king runs like a beast, this is the Usain Bolt of chess, king e8, king d7, king d8, sorry, no, queen e6, and now king d7, the king escapes, and this is just a uh, game over for Pablator. Pablator! Terminator brother. So I think we were, as you guys see, it was a crazy position, but then we managed to survive, you know? <laughs> uh, please play a match versus Lefon. We did. We played a match in the um, in the first round of the Van der Blitz Cup, yeah. Uh Oh, we have LeFond there uh, in the chat. You guys can follow his streams. His streams are really, really fun. And then he's playing very well. So, oh, we, we can play against LeFond. One minute game. <laughs> he's very fast. He's got 2,900. What, 2,900 one minute? Well, let's play the Philidor against LeFond. He's too, too fast, yeah? 
Bishop g7, short castle, c5, knight c6, let's see. Bishop g4 is coming. A a5 to stop b4. Just queen d7 to play bishop h3. We are there. We are there. Bishop takes. Knight takes. Just knight d4. Takes, takes. Knight a 3 Nothing happened. Bishop b2. Now b5. We are gaining some space over there. But then nothing really happens. Pawn takes. Just opening the f file. Oh, he just blunders the queen. He just blunders the queen. Give me that. Give me that. Queen a 3 e5 to stop d4. Now h5 is coming with the rook. Oh, just blunders another pawn. So I'll take in this for sure. Check, check. Here, check on c1. And then take this pawn on a3. Probably just rook f6 to protect everything. Now, queen b2 attacking uh, this guy there. Queen b1. Now, how do I run? <laughs> queen a3. a4. Check, check, check. Just taking this guy. Taking this guy. And check on b1. Just c4. Carlitos is coming. Carlitos is coming, just queen c2, attacking f2, there's no way of protecting this, rook f3, just queen e4, and then he resigns. Thanks a lot for the game, Mr. Lafont. And uh, he offered a rematch. Let's play a rematch, yeah? Let's play a rematch against uh, Lafont. Let's, uh, let's challenge him. Oh, shit, I have to, I think I have to finish the stream because there is somebody else coming or not? uh okay i challenge him let's see if he's still there and uh yes tomorrow i'll be playing a match against a uh, grandmaster from venezuela gascon in the format of the bante blitz cap so let's play d6 not f6 again same same po oh <laughs> Yeah, actually, I think he was uh, the one who invented this uh, dirty technique, yeah? <laughs> but I definitely deserve it, yeah? I definitely deserve it. <laughs> knight takes, knight takes. Uh, let's just try. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah? Bishop f5, f4. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, bishop h6. Queen d6. And uh, king g8. <laughs> Rook e6. Let's just try to... To make uh, things complicated for him, b6, just uh, protecting everything. Queen c5, pinning this. Uh, let's uh, stop. Uh, let's not uh, trade queens. Yeah, knight b4. I don't get that move. a5. He wants to go with bishop d5 probably. So let's just play h5. The king goes to h7. King h, king g1. Ah, he takes everything, and then just gonna play rook f, queen f2 to see what happens. Just bishop b6. Now we are threatening bishop d5. So at least he's got to think. And he just blundered. He just blundered. Because now bishop d5. And now rook e2. What's going on here? What's going on? No, don't tell me he's going to survive this position. No, queen f1. And then just bishop g2. Bishop f1. Take this guy. a4. Here. And b6. There, there, there. Queen a5. There. Check. Here. Give me that baby. Check. Check, check. Check, 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 check. <laughs> okay, this was a lot of fun, man. <laughs> um, yeah, it was fun play against Lefon, really strong player from Canada. All right, guys, so I think. Uh, uh, we come to an end here. It was a pleasure, as uh, usual, to to be here uh, with all of you. I hope you learned some chess, and uh, hope to see you very soon in another Bante Blitz session. Okay, just promise me you will stay safe at home, taking care of your people. This has been a pleasure. This has been a pleasure. Sorry, this is Pepe Cuenca from Chess for Chess Twenty Four. See you. If you drink, don't drive. 